At least five women now claiming they've been sexually harassed in Portland Public Schools in the district, not doing enough to stop it. In fact, one of the women resigned after an emotional speech at last night's board meeting. Let's bring in our Brandon Thompson, digging deeper into the claims and the district's response. Well, the district is really only saying that they prohibit sexual harassment. The district is refusing to say if they're considering any policy changes after these claims. For the women making these claims and the union who represent them, they say that they, if the district was taking them seriously, that they would not have had to air their concerns during a school board meeting. It was Malek Elker's last resort. Today I came here to quit. Here is my card, my keys. Make me feel very worthless because they didn't care. Elker had been working for PPS for around a month. She says her supervisor at Jackson Middle School would repeatedly ask her out on dates despite her refusal. She reported it to the manager and HR. I didn't get any results so so many times like almost every single day. She was moved to a new school, Lincoln High, where a different form of harassment began. He always copies me the way I talk, the way I sound, the way I Act. She immigrated to the U.S. from Northern Africa and feels her accent and nationality was one of the reasons her concerns were not taken seriously. I took this job very serious for, for my future with my son and uh, I, worked my, I worked my heart for them just to prove myself that I'm a good worker and they didn't care. I know of at least five people who I've worked with as a steward and talked to who have faced sexual harassment at PPS. Superintendent Guadalupe Guerrero responded during the meeting saying there are several channels for employees to report harassment, but the union representing custodial and food service workers say each of the women would do that, reporting to their manager, their manager's manager, HR, and the union. Of the five women, Pank says two were fired in what he believes is retaliation because there were no concerns on their record. We asked for an interview with PPS leadership. We asked for if PPS is considering any policy changes after these claims. P PPS refused both those requests, but did send a statement which they say, quote, Portland Public Schools prohibit sexual harassment and retaliation of any kind, including firing, for making a good faith complaint. The district is deeply committed to fostering and maintaining a safe and respectful environment for all our employees. We're not asking for the district to tell us they have a policy. We're aware they have a policy and they're not following that. And that's our concern. Some of the board members, not all, but some of the board members did react to these claims during the meeting last night. Board member Pat Sullivan said at the very least, policies need to be examined around these reports. Reporting live in North Portland, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News.